As always, it is a pleasure being with you right here on Y254. This is Y254 TV where we are just in time for the next discussion of the day. If you're just joining us, this is Y in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko, and today it's all about academics versus career. Now, what is the area of focus that we should take? Does your academic affect your career plan? Does your academic plan affect your career plan? Does your career plan affect your academic plan? Which one should we put more weight on? Is it possible for you to build on one and not the other? These are the issues that we shall be discussing today, and I would like you to be part of this conversation. But I, I, I shall highlight uh, where you shall engage with us in a bit. But joining us to have this conversation, I'm with Lawrence Ofunja Kangei. He is one someone. He is somebody who holds a diploma in religious studies from Consolata Institute of Philosophy, uh, in, uh, uh, a Bachelor of Philosophy from um, Pontifical uh, University in uh, Albania, Rome, Italy. Uh, he, he has uh, both Master of, of Arts in Philosophy and a Doctor of Philosophy in Philosophy. <laughs> from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa and he's currently pursuing a bachelor's of uh, law uh, at his uh, at, the, at this latter institution. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Quite a portfolio. Thank you very much. When I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for finding time to join me this morning. Thank you. Uh, the, the hashtag as always is Y in the morning at yes. Ram Aguko at Y254 channel. Make sure that you engage with us. If you have a question for our doctor here, Make sure that you engage with us. Academics versus career. Which one has an effect? And I would like to start with uh, this first, uh, Lawrence. Yes. What's the difference between an academic plan and um, a career plan? Uh, thank you, first and foremost, for having me mm -hmm. this morning. Uh, it's a pleasure so that uh, we may have a discourse uh, on mm -hmm. this important area. So. To begin with, uh, before I answer your question, uh, what is crisscrossing my mind is yes. why academics, why career, uh -huh. and what should define the other, if at all, yes. that is the case. Uh -huh. uh, and if that is not the case, which one predates the other? Which one comes before the other? Which one is, has more value yes, or importance? Yes, yes. And uh, still, if that is not the case, uh -huh. uh, how are they related? What is the relationship? Uh? Mm. So going back to your question, what is the relationship between an academic uh, uh, profession, mm -hmm. academic academic plan, and versus a career plan? A, a career plan right? Yes, yes, yes. I'll begin by saying this, huh? academics first and foremost, huh? for you to understand and for you to be able to answer that question, mm. you must explain from the root meaning of what academics is mm -hmm. and you must also understand what a career is, mm -hmm. right? So let me begin with the career, with the education. Education comes from the Latin word uh, educare and mm -hmm. educere. Mm -hmm. So educare translates to the English to bring up and educere translates to the English version to bring forth. To bring forward. To bring forth. Forth. Yes. All right. So to bring up and to, and bring, to bring forth. forth. So the question is, uh, uh -huh. what is this that is being brought up mm -hmm. and what is this that is being brought, brought forth? forth? That is a very important question mm -hmm. because it will influence the understanding of what a career plan is. Right. If at all, mm. it is to be answered. Eh? And if at all, the previous influences the latter. So the aspects or the elements that are being brought forth mm. are the deep-seated values in somebody, the talents, your capacities, mm. your inherent abilities, now, your, this capacity and the yes. talent and the inherent abilities, yes. in what area? Are, they, uh, are these inherent abilities supposed to be seen mm -hmm. in the career path yes. or in the academic path? Uh, I'll say that they are supposed to be seen in your life, 
what are you able to do? Mm. What is this contribution that you can use these deep-seated values eh, mm. to make a contribution to the humanity, to the world at large? Right. And now that brings in the aspect of career, right? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. education has to do with the training, mm. right? And this training influences career to the extent that uh, you acquire skills. How do you acquire skills? This one still sends me back to the four dimensions of education. Okay. That is the mm -hmm. cognitive, mm -hmm. the dialogical, the normative, and uh, the creative. Because cognitively, you acquire certain concepts. You are able to conceptualize issues. Eh? Mm. And this conceptualization will be seen in the manner in which you interact with what you are conceptualizing. Mm. It will be seen towards the outside. It will be an, an extra movement, right? Mm -hmm. This is what you have, this is what you can do. Yeah. So what you can do has to do with the profession or the career, right? Yeah. And uh, what guides it is what you have, what you understand. If you look at the creative aspect of education, if you look at uh, the dialogical aspect, it is the interaction between a learner and a and trainer. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. So what is the nexus between a learner and the teacher or mm -hmm. the instructor? Mm -hmm. It should be dialogical. It should be conversational. Right? So it's, 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 you said it is a conversation. Is that cognitive? Cognitive aspect uh -huh. or dimension of education. Uh -huh. We talk of dialogical, dialogical aspects. Where we have the communication between the student and the teacher. Yes, it's a dialogue. It's right? a dialogue. Uh -huh. After that, we talk of the normative. Uh -huh. Which is? The normative. Uh, how do you acquire the norms, the customs, uh -huh, the conventions, uh -huh. mm -hmm. the putative or the uh, uh, cross-board accepted ways mm -hmm. of conducting yourself within the society? Perfect. From the term norm. What is a norm? Yes, yes, it's yes. a cross-board accepted mm -hmm. mode of operation or modus operandi. And lastly, mm -hmm. we talk of the creative. At the creative level, there are so many disciplines, and that is why Kenya most uh, at the moment is talking of CBC, mm -hmm. a transition from an 844 system mm -hmm. to a CBC system, mm -hmm. a competency-based curriculum, curriculum, right? Most likely, this will be pegged on the creative aspect of education, in Should terms of art, arts, uh -huh. artistic, uh -huh. and arts cuts across. You could be a musician, you could be an artist, in terms of sculpture, drawing, all these things. Now, for for for, for um, and uh, the curriculum, the, yes, the, 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 like the CBC, yes, does it have these four dimensions? It the, should the have the cognitive, the normative, the interactive. The it in, should uh, have yes. because uh, what the four dimensions of academics actually brings out, uh, uh, they cater for the diversity of humanities. Mm. Not all of us are cognitively uh, talented or not all of us are properly equipped cognitively. Some of us are equipped in terms of being creative. Mm -hmm. Some of us are equipped in terms of being dialogical. There are professions that require that. And mm -hmm. some of us are equipped in terms of being uh, 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 persons who can shape the society right. through the norms and now, all that. So a career, mm -hmm. to, to answer the latter part of it, eh? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a career is, I'll say this, that in as much as education informs a career, it predates a career. Okay, so it is education that informs your career. It predates, it comes before. But remember, uh -huh. we should not just understand education f from one perspective. Eh? Education should be understood in uh, at least three ways. Mm. You talk of the formal, informal, and non-formal, right? Mm -hmm. It's not a must that you be enrolled uh, in into school. a learning institution. For you to be educated. Yes. There are certain things that you can still acquire mm. without joining a, an academic institution. We call it the school of life. Absolutely. <laughs> and it comes with experience, right? Uh -huh. So the society, right from the smallest basic unit of a society, mm. the family, it right. forms our primary unit for learning or mm -hmm. being educated. Mm -hmm. And also there should be a distinction between a learned person and an educated person. Lawyers call themselves learned. <laughs> well... Uh, Are they educated or learned? Well, uh, 
Uh, I take a, a different position on that oh, issue oh. <laughs> because the aspect of a learned friend, that person, yeah. it should not just be applied to one profession hmm. or one career path. Huh? That's lawyers. Huh? Hmm. Uh, a learned friend, first and foremost, has the following interpretations. It is someone that you share the same level of education, right? Hmm. It is somebody that happens to have uh, been your contemporary, right? Mm. Right? Mm. Maybe you school together, it's your classmate. Mm. Oh, but in the manner in which the lawyers use this term, huh, a lawyer ex is expected to know bits and pieces of everything, mm. right? Mm. And that's why a learned person in this sense implies huh, someone who knows something about everything and not everything about something <laughs> uh, okay all right all right all right so yes um, yes what we're saying is uh your academics academics predates mm -hmm. career mm -hmm. so if i'm to get you right yes. for someone who wants to uh, get a certain job yes should they uh get this job because it is what they are passionate in mm -hmm. because now that job becomes your career mm -hmm. or should they go for that job because that is what they were taught in school mm -hmm. uh, is it better to like to, to, to go to school to get a job mm -hmm. Or do you get a job so that you go to school to learn about what I am doing? Because currently, yes, we have many Kenyans who have gotten a, a certain job, Absolutely. and now they have to go back to school mm -hmm. to build their portfolio on mm -hmm. that job because now they have found themselves mm -hmm. in this job. There is a mismatch huh? mm -hmm. between uh, the primary goals of academics and the secondary goals of academics. Huh? You don't necessarily need to go to school to get a job. Uh -huh. That one, I can uh, say it time above number. That you don't need to go to school to get a job. But is it, is it, but better, you to, is it better to go to school to get a job? It is advisable. But okay. it, is not, it is actually sufficient, uh -huh. but not necessary. So education uh -huh. here is not a condition sine qua non. It's not a necessary condition without which you cannot get a job right? Mm. But uh, you cannot be transformed as a person mm. without going to school. And that's Education why I said... Education brings transformation. Absolutely. And that forms the basis of the primary goals of academics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Primarily, mm. we should be transformed persons huh? once it's uh, ascertained that we have gone through a learning institution. Mm. How does this transformation come about? Huh? Because a learner is just like a raw material. So the same way you can take uh, a deformed uh, soapstone, mm -hmm. then you carve it into whichever carving that you want, if mm -hmm. you're a sculptor. So education is a tool of transformation. So uh, the learner should allow the academic curriculum to go through him or her, so that you are transformed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know it's best possible for you to walk in the rain and uh, still remain uh, dry? Ah, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> My brother. It is possible. You know, is, is that philosophical? <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> okay. Unless you're using an umbrella. Not really. You can just walk the way I am in a shirt and uh, you'll end up being dry. What am I saying? Eh? Uh. Not all learners become transformed at the end of the uh, period, learning uh -huh, period. Eh? Uh -huh, so uh -huh. learning is intentional. That's what I'm saying. Learning is intentional. Now, do, do, do employers prefer academic papers or experience? Now, you're, you, you, you're going, you, mm -hmm. you, yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Going by the current trends, huh? mm. in as much as you'll be subjected to a theoretical uh, a sort of interview, hmm. most employers will also tend to test your skills, right? What you can do. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not about all what you know, hmm. but it's also what can you do about what you know. So this brings in the question of uh, the relationship between theory and practice. Hmm. 
can theory exist without practice? And can practice exist without theory? That's the question. Should a Kenyan youth watching you right now yes. be inclined to say mm -hmm. that let me go back to school mm -hmm. so that I can have a better future mm -hmm. or so that I can get a better job? Mm -hmm. Or should they say, mm -hmm. let me look for a job. Mm -hmm. After I've gotten uh, this job, I will mm -hmm. get the experience mm -hmm. that will enable me to get a better job. Uh, what I would say to such a person who seems to be in a dilemma mm -hmm. or torn in between, huh? mm -hmm. identify your purpose. Because huh? it's not assured that going to school will get a job. It's not assured. But huh, it is an odd situation. Mm. It is expected eh, that once you go to school, eh, once your character is transformed, eh, you will use that character to uh, impact on the society. Mm. You'll make a contribution. No matter how minute it could be or it mm. could sound, eh, that is what life is about. What can you do that uh, somebody else cannot do? What is your purpose? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What is this that you can now go to school to systematize it, mm -hmm. right? What is this that you can now go to school to say that I have the training? But huh, it's not that what you have gotten from school is the one that informs what you should be doing. Because now, tra you know, can training also come in place of experience? Absolutely, absolutely, because uh, uh, the the Kenyan government, as uh, as we speak. Huh, is supporting a lot of Tibet institutions, mm. right? Mm. Because there has been this rush for certificates, certifications huh, in this country. No wonder I said there is a confusion uh, between the mismatch of primary and secondary, and secondary goals of goals academics. Of, huh? oh, yes, yes, yes. So having understood that not all of us are gifted huh, mm. in terms of uh, cognitive, huh, some persons are gifted in terms of handwork right mm -hmm. in terms of vocational training right and that is why the government is allowing several options such that huh? having identified your purpose having identified your strong goals mm -hmm. your strengths huh? how do you profit how do you systematize those uh, capacities mm -hmm. yes and at the end uh -huh. remember the biggest purpose of learning is first and foremost you as a person to be transformed. I'll keep on repeating this aspect. Eh? Mm. And after the society realizes that you are transformed, eh? you, le you make a contribution. No wonder if you meet the most illiterate person, somebody who has never gone to this uh, formal training, eh? and he or she realizes that uh, you have gone to school, mm. the person will not hesitate to tell you, kindly, carry yourself as somebody who has gone to school. <laughs> the person will not tell you, eh? The person will not tell you uh -huh. kindly, carry yourself as somebody who is seeking for a job. They will tell you, carry yourself as someone who has gone to school. Who has gone to school. With because, decorum. absolutely, the society expects a lot from, from the learning. those who have stepped within the presence of formal training. The society expects a lot. To whom much is given, much, much is, expected. is expected. Which brings me to find out, mm -hmm. um, when it comes to job seeking mm -hmm. in the job market, yes. I want to compare two things, yes. academic qualification mm -hmm. and professional qualification. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between these two? They could sound uh, distinct, huh? but mm -hmm. they're inseparable. They're inseparable. Yes. Let me take an example of uh, accountants or even lawyers, huh? mm -hmm. those who are being trained to be advocates. Huh? Yes. After you have attained the academic qualification, there are certain specific institutions mm -hmm. that you must go now and uh, practice. You are now trained huh? mm. in terms of how do you do this out here better that is now professionalism eh? that's why you acquire some professional qualifications professional qualifications 
are mostly anchored on academic qualification. All right. Le le all right. Yes. Let's, let's, let's differentiate between, the, <laughs> be between these two. For someone who knows yes. they don't have no clue what you're talking about, mm -hmm. this academic qualification, mm -hmm. what is it by definition? Mm -hmm. And professional qualification, mm -hmm. what is it? If I go to school and, and I do my bachelor's, mm -hmm. is that my profession? That's your, you have an academic qualification. Differentiate between these two. So an academic qualification eh, is uh, a qualification that you acquire uh, from a learning institution, a higher learning institution, uh -huh. a university, uh -huh. a college, this tivet. That is That's academic. That's an academic qualification, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. A professional qualification is a certification of that academic qualification that you have been found fit having undergone certain academic training. You have been found fit eh, to deliver in a certain job or in a certain field. So they are certifying you, right? Mm -hmm. Without which, eh, mm -hmm. in as much as you have the academic qualification, without this certification, that is the professional qualification, mm -hmm. it might be difficult for you to be recognized. As a professional in that field? In that field. So professionalism or a professional qualification has to be understood eh, within the ambits of certification. Have you been given a license to practice that which you have acquired right. during your training? Which most Kenyans do not have. They go to university, yes. get the bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. and say, this is my profession. Uh, that is it. Eh? Taking examples of uh, professions like teaching, Mm -hmm. We have the TSC. Yes. It is the TSC that, uh, through that acquisition of the TSC number, it mm -hmm. certifies that you have met the minimum requirements of becoming to a, be teacher a teacher by profession. By profession. <laughs> Having gone through the university right, that right, offers right, right. bachelor's of laws, mm -hmm. you'll have to proceed to the Kenya School of Law mm -hmm. to be certified as a lawyer as a lawyer, and now you'll become an advocate, advocate. once you've been admitted to the bar. To the bar. So, mm -hmm. you have been certified, you have been licensed to practice law as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. You see? Mm -hmm. Once you've pursued Bachelor of Commerce, huh, uh, you must, or it's expected that you be registered by ISPAC, huh? they have mm -hmm. such a body, mm -hmm. right? Such that you are qualified uh, if you're in the line of accounting, you're qualified as an accountant. That is a professional qualification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not an academic qualification. And this academic and professional qualification, mm -hmm. how should they now translate into your career? All right. Now, ha let's sh mm -hmm. shift. Now, mm -hmm. you have this qualification, mm -hmm. academic or mm -hmm. professional. Mm -hmm. Translating this into your career, mm -hmm. which one of these mm -hmm. holds more water mm -hmm. that can thereby affect your career? Mm -hmm. And is it possible mm -hmm. at the same time mm -hmm. to enter into a career mm -hmm. after attaining an academic qualification mm -hmm. and thereby, uh, 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 you know, because of this conversation, then mm -hmm. you feel like mm -hmm. I need to go back mm -hmm. and get a professional qualification? Uh, since each uh, good law has got exceptions, huh? uh -huh. I will say that by and large, huh, that should be the way to do things. Huh? But there are exceptions, huh? mm -hmm. whereby you'll find certain careers huh? uh, may not necessarily require that, huh? that, uh -huh. that certification or that license. Huh? They'll mm. treat the license as both huh? mm. having completed huh? your education. All in right. terms of having attained a certain level of oh, so, education. So not all, not, not all fields have not professional all, qualifications. Not all, not all, right. all fields, not uh -huh. all fields. It cannot be all fields. Huh? Uh -huh. This one has to do with uh, just a few things to do with medicine, uh -huh. law, uh, accounting, uh -huh. uh, engineering, such like, huh? uh -huh. teaching even, right? Uh -huh. But uh, there are certain areas, like for you to be a lecturer, the minimum standards uh, as a tutorial fellow for mm -hmm. you to be allowed to appear in a lecture room uh, mm -hmm. or lecture hall uh, have you uh, completed uh, your master's degree successfully right right then after that uh, have you completed your phd successfully, successfully. you become a lecturer mm -hmm. so 
that's why I've said not all require a certification. Certificate. Because mm -hmm. the completion of the academic, the attainment of the degree itself, mm -hmm. serves both academic and the certification. Thank you very much, my brother. So, um, I, I, I want us to wrap it all up yes. at that point. Yes. But I want to give you a, just a few seconds mm -hmm. to have a final word to speak to that Kenyan youth who is mm -hmm. watching you right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. in regards to this academic and career. Mm -hmm. What would be your, what should we go home with, our take home mm -hmm. uh, for the day? Uh, our take home for the day is that uh, education is very important, right? Because once you are educated, eh? Once you're learned, eh? uh, it saves your life because an, a learned person, an educated person, will not threaten his existence mm -hmm. as that person who is ignorant. So right. ignorance threatens our existence. Wow. Education preserves our existence. Wonderful words. Yes. Ignorance threatens our existence. Yes. Thank you very much, Lawrence, for your presence You're and welcome. For, for, for coming today. Thank it, you. It, it was an insightful uh, conversation. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> All right. Yes. That was brings us to the end of this conversation this morning on Why the Mons about academic versus career. I hope you've learned something. And if at all you, uh, you, you want to get a hold of, of, of Lawrence, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, I can share my phone number. Yes, you can. Uh, and if you are on social media, if yes, possible, I can also. still share my email address. Uh -huh. I guess that one, those one, those two should serve. Okay. So my phone number is zero seven two two eight nine double zero seventy four. My email address is k a l a o f u twenty seventeen at gmail.com. You just come again with the, with, with the phone number. How can someone reach you again with the number? Zero seven two two eight nine. Double zero seven four, and my email address is k a l a o f u twenty seventeen at gmail dot com. Make sure that you get a hold of him to find out more about your academic and career.